my beautiful family and welcome to this video. So, guys, I get asked a lot what are the palettes that I really reach for every day, the palettes I love, the palettes I use, the palettes that I can't live without. If you know me, you know that I collect palettes, palettes especially eyeshadow palettes. I'm obsessed. I own over 60 palettes. That's true. I own over 60 palettes and I'm going to show you my palette collection soon. But guys, there are some palettes that are not new launches that have been out there long, long, <laughs> for long, that I really, really like and reach for all the time. The palettes that I can trust, the palettes that I take uh, with me when I travel. Uh, and I need to share that with you. So these are my 10 most used palettes that I really love and can't live without. Now you have to have in mind that I do love my new my new eyeshadows that I own uh, in my collection. There are other eyeshadow palettes that I really use and love and really think are beautiful. So let me know down below if you want to see uh, more of the palettes that I really like and think are worth the money. But here are I have 10 in front of me that I really think are beautiful, that I really really love and I think they are worth the money and I think that maybe you should invest in them if you're interested to know. So um, yeah, if you want to see what 10, ten palettes I think are best in my collection, then please keep on watching. Okay, so uh, this palette it was limited edition, but now it's per permanent and has been out there for a long time. I'm talking about the Coleraine. Coleraine? Queen of Hearts palette. This is the only palette that I kept the outside packaging because I think it's beautiful. I think this, pa this packaging is kind of boring, but this one is so beautiful. So this palette I've been using a lot, especially when I go to work. Uh, uh, I go to these neutral shades. Really love uh, this shade. This is my most used uh, eyeshadow that I have. It's very, very beautiful. I think it's worth the money. I love this orangey brown shade. I think it's stunning on the eyes. I think this palette is really, really beautiful and worth the hype. I haven't been used one shade in here and it's this one, not much. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I just reach for other eyeshadows when I want that color, but it's beautiful shade. I really, really like this palette. I think it's one of my most used palettes. And I think uh, everyone should have this in the collection. I don't think there are any special eyeshadows in here, but the quality is amazing. Really, really amazing. You can get these shades in other palettes that I all also own. But so I'm, for some reason, I really trust this palette and I reach for it. I think it's beautiful. I feel rich when I use it. I don't know why. It's not the most expensive palette, but I just feel there is so much quality in the eyeshadows and I've been having it for a long time, over 12 months, <laughs> that says on the packaging. But this is cruelty free. Uh, I think it's beautiful. It's made in USA um, and I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this is one of the palettes I really love. And these palettes are not in a particular order. I just have them here in front of me so don't think that this is the number one or two these palettes are like uh, equal depending on uh, what makeup look i'm looking for uh, okay so let's move to other palettes i can't take this off the palette that i've been traveling travel with a lot the palette that i really always wear for when i'm going somewhere uh, over weekend or week or two is this Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This is a palette that I got from my husband. Smells still peaches. I've been having it for a long time and I always feel happy when I open this palette. The eyeshadows are beautiful. I've been using these a lot. This is this and these are my favorite eyeshadows in here. Uh, they are pigmented. They are beautiful. They are everything you need if you want a peachy makeup look or natural makeup look. I really like this palette. I think it's beautiful. You can create the everyday makeup look. You can also create a night makeup look when you go out. 
uh, I really like this palette. I think it's worth the price and it's very travel friendly. I've been traveling with this one a lot. I really, really love this palette. And this palette I will definitely repurchase. Uh, another palette that I really like and I've been using a lot when I want to create those purpley makeup looks is this Anastasia Norvina palette. Uh, I think I love all of the palettes from the Anastasia. I think I use them a lot, but if I should choose two palettes that I think are worth the money, I know the Modern Renaissance is so popular, everybody loves that, and I also own it, but I didn't use it a lot. Maybe because I really like Jeffree Star's Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. I use that one a lot. Uh, it's not in this video, though. It's because it's my newest... It's really new to my collection and ha I haven't been using it a lot because I bought so many eyeshadow palettes that I really am using and eyeshadow palettes that I'm creating makeup looks with. Uh, Norina palette is one that I really reach for. I really like this. I think these eyeshadows are beautiful. They are very used. Um, I think you can create pinkish, uh, purpley, also neutral makeup looks with this palette. I think it's worth the money. I mean, if you like Anastasia eyeshadows, you know they're very pigmented, uh, they are powdery, they are very powdery, but they are, this one is one of my favorites. There is also another one that I'm going to talk about soon, but this one is one of my favorites from uh, Anastasia, and I think it's one of my favorites. I just love it. I think it's worth the money. I think everybody should have it and it's something that I reach for all the time. The other palette that I really like a lot from Anastasia, it's this Soft Glam palette. This one I've been reaching for a lot. I almost hit pan in here. This shade in these two are my favorite, uh, favorite. This black is beautiful. This one is so pigmented. It's something I really, really like to use. Uh, this one too. This I like to have under my eye, eyebrows it's the shade that I've been using a lot I love this palette and I know you've seen this a lot on my channel uh, I just think it's a beautiful natural makeup looks if you want a natural uh, eyeshadow palette this one is for you I think this is a beautiful it's cruelty free I love this I love this uh, I also was kind of reaching for to show you the um, sultry sultry is also something that kind of Reminds me of this one. I like that sultry too. But if I should choose this old salt, sultry, I think I would prefer this one. I mean, sultry is beautiful. I love that one too. But I've been using this one more. So this one is good. Then I have an eyeshadow palette that I talked about on my channel, reviewed on my channel before. It's cruelty free. It's this from Pract. It's one of my favorite. I have another also that I really like, but this one I've been traveling with. And I think you have everything. You have your no neutral shades, you have your shimmery shades, you have your glitters in here. I've been using a lot of these eyeshadows and I think they are beautiful. These glitters are amazing. Let me just swatch some of the shades. You can see what I'm talking about. The pigmentation is there. They are very smooth, they are very beautiful. I know I had it also in one of my giveaways. Uh, once and um, I hope the person that got it really like it because I love this one I also had the other eyeshadows from Prakt in my giveaways and I love them too uh, Also, they are very beautiful, but this one has glitters too. I don't use glitters a lot uh, But if I'm going to use some I'm going for Prakt because they're beautiful um, So I really like this palette. I've been traveling with that uh, with it a lot. I know it doesn't really look maybe anything special when you look at it, but the quality is there. They're pigmented. They are not too pigmented on the eyes, so they're buildable. When you swatch them, they're pigmented. But when you use them on your eyes, especially the matte shades, they're very buildable. They're very beginner friendly. Uh, you don't have to be afraid to put a lot of the eyeshadow, of eyeshadows there. This is not the black one. This is like grayish, also very buildable. I mean, this is a beautiful, a beginner-friendly palette. I think it's very nice, and I've been traveling with it a lot. Uh, maybe you're surprised, but I really like this palette. And there is a palette that I really like, and I recreated a makeup look a couple of times that are created on uh, YouTube. I do have a review of that one. I'll try to put a link down below if I remember, but that one is one of my favorite makeup looks that I've ever done on my channel. 
and it's with this Ace Beauty or Beauty account pronounce it. But this is the classic Paradise. I have the whole collection. I haven't used the colorful one. I still haven't used that one and I bought this last year and I don't know why. Uh, but this palette is one of my favorite from this, this, that collection and if you should try this, they are available on Beauty Bay. If you want to try this brand, you should try this palette and another one that I don't have in this video. I'm going to show you. It's what I have on my eyes. It's not this palette, but it's from um, Ace Beauty. I'm going to review that on my channel soon, but this palette, you should get this palette. Uh, these eyeshadows, let me show you, are so beautiful. And that makeup look that I created with this palette is amazing. It's out of this world. It's something that I'm so proud of. And ah, they are smooth. They are easy to blend. This green is oh, so perfect. And my hands are stained a little bit. But this green is, remind me of that Jeffree Star lipstick that I really love. I mean, this palette, this yellow, I need to show it to you guys. This is so, so beautiful. And I think it's one of my favorites from this brand. I just love this palette. And when I see it, I'm happy. I feel creative. And I just have so many eyeshadow palettes that I don't have so much time to try these out again and create more makeup looks. But that makeup look that I created with this palette is one of my favorite. I just love that makeup look. I look at that, I watched that video a couple of times. I don't like watching myself. I don't like watching my videos. That video I watched a couple of times just because I like that makeup look and I wanted to recreate it a couple of times. I really like that one. Um, this palette is everything. I reach for it even if there is only one shade. Sometimes I really like to use only this yellow. Sometimes I go in and want to try um, this shade or use just one shade from this collection this green is everything i just like this palette makes me happy and if this one disappears or goes bad i will repurchase this one definitely because uh, i will repurchase all of these eyeshadow palettes that i'm showing you because they are my go-to eyeshadow palettes so this one i really like you guys if you know me you know i don't like drama on youtube I don't, I just, I watch it, but I, I don't care about it. Um, so if you don't like this person, you don't like this person. If you love this person, you love this person. I have no special feelings about this person. I watch your videos, but uh, I don't care about the drama, really. Um, I just love this palette and I think I will repurchase it and repurchase it and repurchase it because it's one of my favorite palettes. It's the Nude put Petite from Laura Lee, Los Angeles. This eyeshadow palette is perfect. It's perfect for everyday makeup look. It's perfect if you want to create something bold, if you just want to have something on your eyes. This one is one of my favorite eyeshadows in here, especially this one too. I mean, oh, this one is, I use it all the time. Uh, let's try to swatch it here. They are very creamy. They're real, very buildable. They're beautiful eyeshadows. If you should have one natural makeup look, if you want a palette that will give you everyday makeup looks, you go for this one because this palette is great. This is cruelty free. And uh, I just love this. I really love this palette. I think it's everything. And I will definitely repurchase this palette. There are many palettes I wouldn't repurchase that I use in my collection. But this palette, this 10, like I said before, I'm going to repurchase if they go bad because they are my favorite uh, palette. So this one I really, really like. And I think, oh, this is one is so beautiful. I don't always go for the darkest shade, but this one is so, so nice. I love this palette. I really love this palette. Love it. Also available on Beauty Bay and on her website. I don't know if Morphe has it, but... I love that palette. <sighs> also palette, this is something, uh, I reviewed this palette on my channel. I had this palette. I mean, I, feel, I have so strong feeling, feelings for these palettes that I'm talking about. I just can't live without them and I need them in my collection. This palette is something that I love. 
Uh, I got curious when I saw it on Beauty Bay. I never heard about this person or this brand before. So I went and looked for it for her on YouTube. And when I saw, saw her videos, I just fell in love with her. She's amazing. I'm talking about Kayla or Kaylee, Urban Bible with Sosu. This palette, guys, you need this palette. You need this palette. This is my most used palette too. I love this palette. I created so many purple makeup looks and pink makeup looks with this palette. It's unbelievable. This is my favorite red pink shade. Why? Look, it's very dark. Red, but when you blend it, it turns into pink so beautiful it's a special shade you need to try it to re really understand it this is the perfect pink i've been using it a lot this is a perfect pink shade my hands are stained guys i'm sorry this is one of my favorite palettes i can't be without this palette this is something that everybody should have i love this palette so so by sg.com uh, this is a collab palette collaboration with Kayla or Kaylee I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name but I really love this girl she's amazing so talented and this palette is so beautiful I mean look at this blue I need to swatch this blue for you guys let me see this one is clean and this white is also perfect I love it look at this blue do you see that and this white is also nice the good thing with this white it's that you can use it to light up these shades to make it a little bit lighter uh, that is something that you can't do with every white because I don't know why they get gray kind of when I use that but this white one is perfect if you want to light up the corners blend them a little bit more this is beautiful especially if you blend it together with this you get that more bright pink shade uh, this blue is so beautiful beautiful love 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 this palette i hope this is permanent really hope this is permanent it doesn't disappear if they're going to stop selling that palette i'm going to buy another one just in case okay let's see i have two more palettes that i want to talk about and a palette i think you're bored oh God, look i can't take it off okay a palette that I think you're all bored to see on my channel. Maybe, I don't know. I hope not, guys. I really hope not because it's one of my favorite nude eyeshadow palettes. Something I use a lot. Uh, it's from Kaya Cosmetics. Quality is perfect. I love this, this shade in the corners under my eyebrows. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful shade beautiful palette i use this a lot on my crease and this one they are so good um wait wrong finger <laughs> i think they're beautiful they're very very pigmented uh, i i just love kaya cosmetics i think uh, the, that this brand really put their money in quality uh, packaging is nice it's expensive, but you get a lot for your money. Uh, it's my everyday palette. It's my stay at home palette. It's my sh going shopping, my palette. I just love this palette. Uh, neutrals, if, you're going, if I'm going for neutrals, I reach for this. Or the um, Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, uh, or Nudie Patootie, but this one I really like. I feel like I, sometimes I do have to stop it Stop to use it on my channel or, my, or on my Instagram because you're going to get bored. Okay, a palette that is so dirty and so stained and so loved and so used and probably so too old. It's <laughs> Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. Uh, guys, I mean, I think everybody has this palette already. Look, it's old. I have the names up here. Uh, beautiful. My favorite shade. That I use a lot is that one and I like this one I have been using this a lot uh, it's my palette that I've used and loved so so much I was so excited when this launched I think uh, there is not a single person that doesn't like this pa palette not that I know of if you are one please let me know down below let me why know why because this palette is beautiful it's everything it's 
you have your bold colors up here, dark colors up here, very light neutral shades, pinkish, brownish, red shades, beautiful palette. I think this is something that if you want to start with makeup, if you need a palette that can do everything that you can use every day and maybe go a little bit out of your com comfort zone, get those more bold makeup looks, try this palette. I mean, I mean it's very buildable, it's colorful, pigment is there, it's very beginner friendly. You can't create a bad makeup look with this palette, you just can't. I mean, it's everything. So guys, that was 10 eyeshadow palettes that I'll definitely repurchase if something happens to them or if they get old because these are my favorites. These are palettes that I really, really love and I think everybody maybe should have one of these just if you can't afford all of them maybe you can get one of these and have it in your collection i promise you, you won't regret i mean they are beautiful they are so billable they are nice love them trust them my babies these are my 10 babies that i need in my collection uh the one palette the, okay so i do have more i do i do love who the beauty i reach for it i do love um Violet Voss eyeshadow palettes, I reach for them too. L'Oreal, I reach for that. I have some NYX palette, I reach for that one too. Uh, I, I mean, I like also these palettes from Linda Halberg, but it's nothing that I can't live without. I mean, if something happens to them, I'll get sad, but fine. Though I do like Jeffree Star's palette, the blood sugar and the the blood sugar and the blue blood palette i love those i mean they're beautiful but i just i haven't used them a lot uh, definitely will be in my maybe next year 10 most used palettes but 10 used uh, last year and this year my 10 palettes that i've been using a lot are these 10 and i think think they're worth the money i think they're beautiful i think they are everything and i love them i just love them okay i'll stop talking i'll stop talking uh, if you want to know what's on my eyes, that video is coming soon, but it's this one or oh, this is this this palette I fell in love when it launched, but but I never bought it from Ace Beauty website because when I bought the full collection, the shipping guys was it hurt my soul, so expensive. Taxes, shipping so expensive so when the beauty bay launched this brand i was so excited because i don't have to pay shipping costs with beauty bay when i order our special uh, when i order a lot of products but when it launched on beauty bay i immediately bought it uh, so i just want to show you this palette is also very beautiful if you like these colors um I have many of them on my eyes. You're going to see many makeup look with this palette soon. But just love this palette. I just want to tell you what I have on my eyes. I just filmed this video, this makeup look, and I thought it was beautiful. And I know I was preparing for this video, and I thought, why not? Why not film it now when I look beautiful? <laughs> I hope you like this video. Please let me know down below. What uh, is there any palette that you can't live without that you will repurchase if? something happened to them please let me know down below i'm very very excited and i really am curious to know what is your favorite palette the palette you can't live without the palette that it's worth the money the palette that you give you a less penny to buy if something happened to one that you have please let me know down below i'm curious to find out and maybe try some of them if i don't own them but this is my 10 please let me know if you tried any of these what do you think about them do you love them do you hate them do you feel like about please let me know down below i'm very curious to find out thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and guys i found out you do comment on my some of you do comment on my videos and watch all of my videos but you enter the giveaway but unfortunately you unsubscribed uh, so please check out so if you already subscribe don't click on the subscribe button again because you, then you will unsubscribe so be careful don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, like this video, uh, ring the bell, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.